Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncore.com. Today we have a quick look at the recently released Adidas D-Rose 4. Uh, these will be performance tested as soon as possible. I am overloaded right now with a bunch of stuff, so just be patient and I'll get it all done. Um, any performance information, teasers, things like that prior to the review can be found over at my site, kicksoncore.com, as soon as they're available. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, guys, so here we go. Um, these are not as thin as previous versions. Um, not previous versions of the Rose, but previous versions with this next gen Pure Motion. So, it's still flexible, but I know that a lot of people are concerned with that. The cushion and everything, they felt good uh, on foot, in my opinion. Um, definitely nowhere near as low as the other ones. So, uh, as far as the upper goes, we have a full on sprint web upper. You can see the mesh is behind in these little holes. I don't know if this is going to be too breathable because this is all plastic. Um, and then you have this this welded piece here, and it hides the stitching on the toe. Uh, this particular pair came with this thing. I don't know if this is for like all people or whatever, because it says it's like number 283 out of 400. Um, but this is a media pair, or media pack, or whatever. So um, thanks to Adidas, by the way. So really, really appreciate it. Um, as far as the back here, uh, where that that uh, split is. Uh, this is all GeoFit, and then I believe there's a 3M uh, logo here. I haven't tested it out. And then um, you have the white logo right there. But yeah, so GeoFit entire back area, which is awesome. Um, you can see the inside. And then it's also on the back of the tongue too, which is really cool. So I really like that. Um, you can see the sprint web, or not the sprint web, the sprint frame uh, right here. It does run underfoot. It doesn't feel bad, though. Um, it's not coming out of the sides here like some of them have in the past. Some of them, like the sprint frame, goes like this. But uh, this one doesn't, like, it doesn't come up and then pinch your foot right here like the previous models. This one's, like, more embedded into the, uh, the midsole. So um, I do like that. And then also there's Adiprene Plus. I don't know if you could see that. There's a glare. There you go. Um, but yeah, there's Adiprene Plus, and basically, let me untie the other shoe. What that means is um, the full on the full midsole is EVA, and uh, that's pretty much Adidas's go-to cushioning source right now. It's got some bounce to it. It lasts quite a while. Um, maybe not as plush as you know, like Lunar and Cushlon and all that stuff, but um, it gets the job done. So uh, it cushions and protects while allowing you to have uh, court feel and all that stuff because you don't feel like you're mushing into the shoe. Um, there's a uh, polyurethane insole, by the way. So here's that. Um, but then their Adiprene is just a little bit softer, and all it is is that little blue crash pad right there. So I thought that the whole heel section would be Adiprene. This is all EVA. And then they just added a crash pad of Adiprene Plus. So it's just like a little oval and then they glued it in there. So it's not the it's not the whole thing. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, but you know, it is what it is. Um, you can see that there's my coach in there. Or it's not in there, but it's capable. So if you have my coach you can use it. And um, here is the bottom. You have the back section is translucent. And then you have full-on herringbone, multi-directional. Um, this is really awesome because this is uh, going to be good for outdoors. So these are flat and they're and they're hard, um, but they're still like got some like grip to it. You know what I mean? So um, I'll compare it real quick with their original Pure Motion, not original original, but you know original as far as the next gen goes, where you have these really thin, like tiny little lines. So if you like wear those outside, those things would get just shredded to pieces in like no time. These guys here are a lot thicker. So this is a better setup for outdoor players. Alright guys, so just uh, one quick, one more quick overview. I'm far away. These are pretty dope, dude. Um, didn't like them when I first saw them. Didn't like the split right here. As soon as I saw this colorway and I can't remember what the other one was. I think it was the Brenda, the, the, the one that's red here, black in the back. Those two colorways caught my eye. So, I do like them. Um, not something I'd wear off-court, but definitely an on-court shoe. So, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, again, going to be performance tested and reviewed. So, just stay tuned for that. 
and uh, bear with me, I got the LeBron 11s coming soon, um, and then a whole bunch of other stuff, there's uh, Jordan Prime Fly, uh, the Stutter Step, um, the Peak, I've already done, uh, I just have to uh, finish writing that up and everything, so, um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming, so just uh, be patient with me, and I'm getting it done as quickly as possible, so thank you guys for watching, thanks for all your support, and until next time guys, have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, second thoughts on the beat. And you know. Big up to Lace Cadence. For looking out for this one, man. I love hip hop music. I just hate the ego. The politics that follow it getting caught in it.